welcome back everyone. This is Dreas and we are hopping back into No One Survived, but me and some traders and some boars and bears and uh, some zombies and rabbits and wolves and stuff like that. So between the last episode, just during the night, just to kind of pass the night, brightening up real nice. Just kind of worked on my engineering skill. Got a little thirsty, got a little protein hungry. I'll show you what I did to kind of get my engineering skill up. Uh, now I did this a little further away from my base. So as not to use the trees nearby, but you can chop down some trees. You get out your little hammer, you go right here, and you just like, I think I got like eight of them, maybe, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we'll put nine down, right click to get off of putting that down, and just build these little beams, these support posts. Do I have any more wood left? Nope, got room for one more. We'll do ten of them. All right. And we'll build that one, and then after it's built, we're just going to hold down left click, and we're going to take them apart. I guess I should have showed you this first. We see my engineering right now is just over three, a smidgen. It was like one and a half at the end of the video. I did this a couple of times. I think like three times. And you don't get any resources back when you destroy something that's fully built like this. In building you will on your workbenches and stuff like that and chests. it tells you like it says in the bottom demolition does not return materials but gains engineering xp and that's what we're doing we're just building and destroying to get engineering xp because at some point we're going to want engineering maxed out to five and it went from like here to there you know just from 10 so you can like go off somewhere where you know you know away from where the trees you're going to be using not like what i just did and yeah work on your engineering xp for you know half a day probably not even that long you can do this at the beginning of the game too like you can just pump up your engineering real quick of course it'll go up naturally when you're building as well so but if you need to get it up real quick and we got to research these we need some protein this morning Sometimes some of these chilies are different. See how this is hot and spicy? This is 1010, that's 2515. Every now and then, one of them will have heavy protein. I don't see. Here's a 15 protein, 15 protein, 15 and 5. Our carbs are not that heavy. Let's get this one. We're going to need a couple. I should probably, probably hunt. Get some uh, protein. Do I got any? Yeah, I got a, I got a stick. Got a stick. To get rid of my hammer. I don't want that in my hand. Well, let's not shoot the bonfire. <laughs> What's my water look like? I not have any. That's the only water bottle. We got to go get. We got to go looting. Uh, that's that's all it is to it. We got to loot some stuff. All right, patrol. Right click. Let's split this off. Get us, let's get our cans in there. Let's get this in there. I don't have to click cooking. I don't know why I just did. Let's your stick. Uh, pickaxe. We can make this stuff on the fly. We need to get rid of that. Could eat these energy bars. They're going to make us thirsty, so I don't want to do that. I mean, I could just drink dirty water. I got malaria anyway, right? And I'm like game edge, so don't seem to be seeing any big negative effect to it. Just, I really don't. So I may just go over there and wash up. Uh, we'll put this in here. There's a lot of stuff I need to build. Not gonna lie, lots of stuff I need to build, but. Uh, we got six. We need like ten of those, I think, for the cart. Maybe it's eight. What do we need? These are 
strength. Let's see what we can see real quick. Let's see what we need for the cart outdoor. You need eight of them. Oh, oh, bad. All right. So we don't have eight. Let's take. I well, know I can pick, pick, pick a stick. Just pick a stick up. No, I can pick a stick up anywhere I go. But I'm going to take one with me. And we will go ahead and craft up another wooden spear. And I'm going to run down the road this mini mark. And see if I can't get some... Uh, Some drink and food. I didn't bring much with me, did I? No. I can toss that pickaxe if need be. I probably should have left it behind. I don't plan on mining anything. I didn't think to get water, some mushrooms. I'm gonna swing by the lake here and get a drink, though. We're just gonna drink up some good lake water. <laughs> Hope it's lake water. We'll clean up. Get that darn. Get a little drinky drink. Gonna get that malaria going real good. We'll just run through the storm. What's that? Oh, the stone. another mushroom now I do still have my foliage turned down or vegetation I forget what it's called in the settings but it is turned down on low and I'm probably gonna keep it there I mean playing solo the game runs fine for me multiplayer I have had some sync issues but it's not bad oh uh, So, and you know, it could be, you know, just depending on who you're playing with and internet connections, you may play multiplayer and not have any issues whatsoever. You know, mileage may vary. <laughs> now I've seen, let's, let's run this out and I kind of want to test it. Watch Summer Cage the other day. Usually, mostly watch game ads. But let's see, how do you bring up the shit? Now I don't know how to bring up the little wheel, the boat wheel. I don't know how to bring it up. Oh, ah, uh, that's it. And is it lay down. And like, how quick the stamina comes up. You can do that to get supposedly this back too, but doesn't seem to be working. You gotta hit spacebar to jump back up. So that's a neat little trick. But we got us a zombie up here. You can get crazy around here. Pull him back, because sometimes they'll come in off to that left. And when you're meleeing, the higher your physical strength is, the more damage I think you do with your melee weapons. So, like, if your physical strength, that purple bar, if that's real low, then you're going to just suck at melee. And it's going to take you several hits. Oh, look at him jump! Gonna take you several hits to get a zombie. Uh, I don't want to use my gun here if I can help it. Is this gonna bring all the zombies to the yard? Yep. This is about to break. Uh 
that broke. Alright, let's get this other one. Getting some frames here. This guy's not fast. Looks like he's a little tough. They need to pick me up another stick. These wooden spears go pretty quick. And, uh... Playing with them, I got a pistol with a silencer on my pistol. And, uh... True to life, you know, a silencer is not really silent. More of a suppressor. Well, there goes that door. And, uh, they hear that. Like, you can fire a suppress, or I fire my suppressed pistol or silenced pistol. And, uh, it's still. They still come from good ways. Helps get those headshots if you can. Get lucky and crit and pop that head off. Oh, somebody's head. Now I will not be able to carry everything in here. <laughs> That's just a given. Thought there was one that walked around. Come on out, buddy. Pretty sure I saw one walk around. We're gonna go ahead. Craft up another wooden spear. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need it. I think there's at least one more guy in there. Maybe a couple. And... I thought I saw a guy walk back here. The guy inside. Yeah. I don't want this guy sneaking up behind me. This door back here don't work. I think this... I don't know. It's... I, I think it's just a fake door. Kind of hate it when they're down on the ground. All right, those her stats look like. Yeah, it's sprinting didn't help her water situation any, but we do have a bottle of water on us. Well, that's not my trash. Could actually get a drink right now. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, in multiplayer, I don't worry so much about it. I'll let myself die, because there's no penalty to it. I'll just play till my stats get low, and I'll let myself die. It's just, it's such a pain, micromanaging this stuff. It's just too much. It kind of steals from the fun for me. Having to constantly eat and drink and worry about food. I don't mind eating and drinking, but just it's just unrealistic. And most games do that. Most games just too hard and heavy on how much you eat and drink. Because uh, I honestly feel like the developers are too lazy to come up with a good balanced solution to it or or you know they feel like you need to eat and drink all the time so that you have to loot food and drink all the time and that's what the game is it's like a, a turns it into a freaking eat and drink simulator you know it's kind of that's my two cents on it yeah, you get lots of food in here. 
may loot up. Probably going to get more out of this room unless I just get unlucky and they're all empty. Because this crap is random. Another pot I really don't need. <laughs> I know somebody that uh, may, <laughs> may like the pot. Uh, I haven't watched Game Ed this video today. I don't know if he still hadn't found the pot unless he found one in today's. I haven't watched it yet. So maybe he's got a pot now. Oh, look at all this stuff. Would like some magazines. Oh, yeah, this stuff is starting to get out of hand here. Let's uh, move it down bottom, kind of get some organization going here. Get these cans that are nice and fit in there nice and snug. down here too. You end up drinking one of them. Alright. Pot here. These four block tall bottles. That's a three high one. Alright, we'll just roll with this for now. Let that go as is. Save room for some water bottles. Now this stuff will respawn. I'm not a big fan of the coffee. I mean, this is all right. Let's see. Nothing there. Just still get rid of that pickaxe. Oh, yeah, there's more cans. The squares, these, yeah, we can do this. And a week, right there. Get that in there. That one's empty. Got that one. I think I got everything in here on that side. There's a few over here. Alright, now. This place is purely, pretty much just food and drink. Well, that was just utter crap. Let's see. Let's see if we can find some bottles. And these are magazines and canned food. Right now, I want to see if I can find some water. More coffee. There's a water. There's water. Some water there. The water. I don't know why they have the water spread all over the place. There's some dog food. I think dog food's actually got good protein. Eh, 15, 15. Don't knock it. No, that's the big boy. That's just the big water right there. That'll fill you up real nice. Huh. All right, let's see. Wine bottle. Is that a tall boy? That is a tall boy. with that now in here most of this stuff in these boxes I think end up being wine I don't think I'm going to open them I really can't carry much more well 
We can get rid of that. But I want to look into vehicles too to get simple parts. I mean, I could loot all the stuff and kind of move it out into one of the vehicles for storage. But, yeah, there's a bunch of wine. But the, uh, like the food will start going bad once you open it. And we can, we can come back, you know. We can come back. So let's, uh. Oh, we'll get that there. What we got here? Oh, we got room right here. Turn that there. Put that there. Yeah, a lot of energy bars. Right, let's look in these cars. I don't think any of this is lootable. Still a good bit to loot inside the store, but... Without a cart, these I do not care for. Uh, now I don't. If you, I don't think you can break these down. It would be nice if, like Project Zomboid, like little stuff like that, you could break them down and maybe get some plastic out of it, or some electrical stuff. That would be awesome. Oh, bottle of fuel. Let's put you in here. Uh, car parts, batteries. I haven't really used any of this stuff yet in my other playthrough, other than for barter. I mean, I, I believe they're used for making repair kits, but that's like, I think you got to have some serious skill to do that. What's her time look like? 1500. It's going to start getting dark around 1700, I think. It's more fuel. Let's get that. Always get these. If you got room, you're going to use a lot of them. That's easy ingots once you get your furnace or whatever it's called going. Big thing of gas. That needs a 4x4 four four slot. Mm, I'm probably going to have a little bit of trouble. Getting up. Well, you just did went the wrong way there, buddy. By four. More fuel. Obviously, I can't carry that now. Triangle grip. Hmm. I want that. I want it, I want it, I want it. More than I want fuel. Triangle grip, maybe as well. That'll actually fit. That.
wine go with us for now. <laughs> Take that. And don't have any shotgun shells. It doesn't come with any. Really don't want to use this if I don't have to. More food. Alright, so carbs. Let's eat that dog food. May no, we can move that. That there. One, two, three, four, five. No, think that ain't happening. So we need more protein, carbs. Let's just eat another dog food. You can't cook the dog food. I mean, if you can and you know how, if you've been able to cook it, make it better. Let me know. I try to cook it and it just burns it. It ruins it. Waste it. So no cooker the uh, no cooker deem the dog food. Alright, let's head on back. Let's see if we can find a place to put this stuff. Probably just outrun any zombies I run into. I don't remember how much ammo I have right now, so I don't want to use it if I don't have to. We got Horde Night coming up tomorrow night. I think I do have some more. 762. I'm not going to check those vehicles. Clay. There's still clay around us. So by the time I do this, you got to click. Down, take them out. I wonder if sitting down will do the same thing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Thought I had myself muted. <laughs> More malaria water. A little bit more. While we're here, we'll go ahead and clean up. Not too dirty, but... I think staying clean kind of helps keep you happy. I don't know why my mentality is down. Maybe eating dog food. I didn't pay no attention. Maybe eating the dog food didn't make me particularly happy. Not worried about it. Don't really have any magazines. Wouldn't mind going to the police station, but that's a... Uh, not a real easy place to clear out. If you go on foot, you might as well go with the intention of spending the night there. Get rid of my malaria. <laughs> well, let's see. Nurse, see it. But if we, that's a drive emoji. No, <laughs> I don't know. Well, if we pray. Oh, that's not a prey, that's a... Oh, what's this? Oh. A couple of mushrooms, there's some good carbs right there. But uh, right now we're good on carbs, so I'm gonna let them be. Still not sure if those, like, uh, how the wild like the mushrooms and stuff, they come back. Or, like, they come back in the same spot. Or if, uh, you harvest them, like, maybe X number in the world, and they just some respawn somewhere else, or... 
or if there's no respawning on them whatsoever. I do not know. Just lay in the middle of the road and wait to die. I'm going to hop up and I'll be facing the other direction. It even spins my camera around. <laughs> Alright, it is getting dark. Alright, so because light is so scarce and I kind of have figured out how to lighten it up some during the night. I may just put this stuff away and cut out the night and see in the morning. Alright, so I put this stuff away, the bulk of it. And uh, I cooked, I, I put a can of food in the campfire and two wheat in the water because I, I don't know if it does, it did, does anything to threw a piece of wood in here to to cook it and it all disappeared didn't cook or nothing so yeah that's that's nice so wasted that can of food uh but yeah we got got 30 protein here now i don't want to i don't want to risk it again and i really don't need that physical strength right now either yeah uh Oh, I know why the can disappeared. No, no. It was the last time it burnt. I think I tried to cook dog food. Anyway, we're all right for now. We'll make it. Just going to drink this water because, you know, why not? And let's get. And let's retrofit. Let's put. This clip in here. Will this grip go? This grip will go. I noticed in my other game that I feel like my uh, weapon got a little more powerful as I put upgrades on it. And maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, I got a scar. That's 5.56, five, right? Yeah, that's 5.56. Five, five, six, 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 and I know you guys still can't see in here very well. I'll try to lighten this part up. But I do have 95.56. I got more 5.56 ammo than I do 7.62. So I do have some food. How much water's in this bottle? I'm going to try this just to see. So I have no, this wheat's about to go bad anyway. And I just, I had three. And I was going to cook two and one. I put that in. All right. The last time, as soon as I put that stick in the fire, everything just disappeared. I think, I'll, I'll look at it in editing, but I think it's disappeared uh, well we got something that time so what we got carbs we need that so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get that in our belly all right and i'll put stuff over here i guess we can go ahead and fill that up real quick and uh yeah, we'll fill this up, and then uh, I'm going to stop this episode right here. Really, actually, I may just end it <laughs> sooner, considering, but uh, we'll stop it in here, and then we'll uh, see about getting a horde night done in the next one. I don't need to clean up. I'm clean already. All right, everyone. I, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.